like again, I was talking about living there in 1977. We're talking about a very short period of time between now and then. This is not that long. This is not. It's just not. No. Forty years is not long at all when you're talking about biology. It's a short amount of time for a radical change like that. For an animal to go from endangered to ultra prevalent and eating people on a regular basis. Think think of even this. The the girl that was. Um I guess she's in Africa and all that. <clears throat> but I don't know if they just kept it quiet or secret or whatever. Maybe it's happened many times in the past. But this one particular time, the chick is in the front seat. And she's taking pictures and her window's down. Oh, and the yeah. lion just, just Lily would have cl- grabbed her and then pulled her out. Just Killed her in front of everybody. It, you're done. That was the Game of Thrones editor. <laughs> For real. Oh, really? Yeah, she was a, an editor oh, my on the God. Game of Thrones. Yeah. And apparently they told her not to roll the window down, too. You know, I guess it's just so tempting. You feel safe. You're in that car. But the lion saw that opening. And there's a female lion, too. A lot of but think about that. Those lions, they, they tell you when you go over there. Oh, yeah. They tell you, um, listen, <laughs> they think it's just a big animal. So they're not really going to. You just got to stay still and uh, don't move. Don't make any jerky more. Uh, uh, and he'll think that it's a, a big animal. <laughs> And so that's your sales pitch. You're sitting there in the open, and uh, the lion's looking at you and going, he just thinks he's not going to jump. He, they told me. They, they would have told me if people had been eaten before, right? I would want to be in the back of that helicopter, like that scene in Predator where Jesse Ventura's got the gun loaded. He's calling everybody a bunch of slack-jawed faggots. <laughs> I would want, that's the only way I would want to go. I want to go with a bunch of dudes with fucking bandoliers filled with bullets and locked and loaded with giant steroid filled muscles just ready to <laughs> and never runs out of ammunition either. Yeah, I don't need a camera. I'll put a GoPro on my head. We'll capture the whole thing and sort out the pictures later. <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just get through this. Let's just get through this. I'm not opening up the fucking window. No, I'm not opening up the fucking window to take a picture of a giant cat that kills things every day with its face. No. Keep the fucking wi- Dolores, keep the window rolled up. You crazy bitch. And you see that paw that looks like a catcher's mitt with fangs. Just clamp. Gets a hold of your tit and just yanks you out of the car. <laughs> digs into your rib cage. Oh my god, I don't even you imagine? It's horrifying. You're sitting there with your fucking Mets shirt on. <laughs> Listen to some good music on your iPod, and it just paws through that window and digs those claws deep into the fucking bones in your ribs like, and carries you off. Like like when you pick up a little piece of sashimi with a chopstick. Right. Boop. It's that simple. Yeah. Does even, you come right out of that window in a second. Yeah. It would take you 10 minutes to climb out of it. That's why we all need guns. <laughs> the lions are coming. The dun, lions. Dun, 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 dun. Do you think that after shootings happen, the sales in um, guns go up? Oh, yeah, for sure, 100%. Skyrocket. People get scared, too, when all the rhetoric starts getting around about ending the Second Amendment, taking away people's rights to guns. I mean, it's the best thing in the world for ammunition companies and rifle companies. Jamie, there's a video that people are throwing around on Instagram. I don't know. I wanted to ask if this is true. There's a, a peop- some people from another country, they're speaking a foreign language, they're talking in front of a lion carcass. They've got, like, they're taking a photo, and then another lion comes and jacks them off camera. Oh, wow. But it looks so fake. Oh, it does? It lo- yeah, it looks so convenient, like the, fa- the framing of it, where the lion gets into frame and then jumps over the camera to get the person as they scream, and you hear the noises in the background. I watched it, I was like, man, this is a way too theatrical. It's way too well-framed. This has is, is got to be bullshit. That was my initial instinct. But what's interesting, oh, King's MMA put it on their uh, Instagram page. My friend, uh, Rafael Cordero, who's uh, one of the best uh, Muay Thai instructors in the world, trains a bunch of world champions, Fabricio Verdum, Rafael Dos Anjos, a lot of people. He's a great guy, too. He put it on his page, and he was... Uh, it was funny because he, he put a caption in, you know, Bra- the Brazilian version of English. You know, you are in his house now. Like that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Like here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. It's a big lion. <laughs> Whoops. Go back. Here he is. Look at the, um, okay. his, his words are interesting. <laughs> Humans mentality. <laughs> they think it's a sport to kill lions. Well, I guess the lion's brother wasn't going for that. 
Bon appetit, Mr. Lion. We feel your pain, see? Looks fake as fuck, right? Yeah, let me hear, let me see her again. It'll it'll replay itself. Yeah, it's he ran straight to the person who had the gun. This is their house, and nobody can cross that line. That's so hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, the line comes back into focus. I don't buy that at all. I just think that's fake. Can I see it again? I think I'm gonna agree see? with you. I want to see her. I gotta watch her reaction. Yeah, well, right. I'll just check the camera. Yeah. Okay. It's right. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> no, the, the, she would have never. And then the lion comes back. See, all those things, there's so much off there. First of all, why did the lion just abandon these people that are shooting it? Did it kill them and walk off real quick? That doesn't make sense. Because there's two of them. If it killed two of them, I think it would have killed one and ragdolled it around a little bit and then gone to the second one. It would have taken longer than 10 or 15 seconds. And you can add that side effect. Of yeah. The yeah. And then the rifle went off and it's just nothing happened. They missed totally. They missed twice. All that stuff just seems fake. Just saw the framing is the big one. And then their acting seems like shit too. I thought they were speaking another language. Apparently... The Speaking English. But that goes back to, the, the, you know what I think about things like that, Joe? I literally sit there and go, humans will believe anything without yeah. even a thought process. The, we'll just believe it. Yeah, you no, know, it's the video. I, I saw it. But don't you think I that's- completely saw it. That's also like a smart video to make because that's what people want to see. Like people hate trophy hunting. They hate this idea that people go over there and shoot these lions and then prop them up and look with a big sucker. smile on their face next to some weird animal that they just shot, some majestic beast. Right. It's weird, man. It's all weird. What's weird, too, that people are celebrating that this fucking, this fucking lion came by and jacked him, went after the lady with the gun. You know, like, everybody's, like, all happy. <laughs> the, comments, the comments are all happy. Like, I'm not into killing lions. But uh, I'm definitely not in the lions killing people. And I don't think that it's like a, it's not a revenge thing. Like that lion would have killed them no matter what. They, they kill. They're lions. That's what they do. Yeah, I, I get it. I get, I'll sit there and I'll go, like hunting, to me, like hunting, if I'm going to hunt, like he's on a reserve. If, if you are going lion hunting or whatever, if someone owns the land, not only that, but most of these things are high fence operations where they have uh, these lions are fenced in. Right. Yeah. And they go in there, it's like a cheap shot to me. It's more than that. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like shooting like a dangerous pet that someone has. Right. But technically they're free, but... Are they? A lot of them are not free. No, that's what I'm saying. They're not free. They've been caught and they tell you, yeah, no, it's they free. Bre they breed them in the wild in these, uh, these enclosures. I mean, not in the wild, in captivity. They breed them, and then they release... Sometimes they release them, and these lions have a very specific area that they travel in, and then they release them, and the lions don't know where to go, so they just hang out and wait. So when they release them, then in the morning, the, the hunter, in quotes, comes out and sees this lion just hanging out, because the lion doesn't have anywhere to go, doesn't belong there, it's not his territory, doesn't exactly know what to do, so he just finds a place to lie down. So he'll go under a tree and just lay there, and they'll walk over and shoot these lions. And it's fucking weird, man. It's like, what is that? Like, that's, that is barely hunting under the loosest possible definition of the term. Bare, it's barely hunting. You know? It's Lion fake. lions. Fake. It's a, video's fake. Yeah. I knew it. See, you can't get me, bitch. Picture came from, uh, that's a real person yeah, with a real like lion. Photoshop pictures over there. Oh, that's why it looked odd. See, I thought it was almost like a fake line. The dead line might be in the fake part, and they might have actually... That, mm. The moving line might have been real. I'm not, I'll read more on that. But. It's so weird. But you know what's weird about this whole thing? You know, after Cecil the Lion got killed in Zimbabwe, now they have to kill 200 lions because they have an excess of lions because nobody wants to go there and um, nobody wants to hunt lions anymore because of the blowback that they experienced from the Cecil thing. 
So now they're, they're assassinating What's the Cecil him. thing? You know that guy, that dentist that killed that famous lion? Yes, yes, yes. Remember yes, that? Yes, yes. That's yeah, yeah. Cecil the lion. Okay. Remember that whole outrage was really crazy. Like everybody got nuts about that. And because of that, nobody wanted to go there to hunt. So now they have the lions that are decimating the undulate population. So they, they had to kill 200 lions. 200 lions that would have brought them, you know, I think they get $50,000 a lion. When when Hunter comes and pays to hunt the lion, so think about that shit. They're like losing money. It's a fucked up place, man. It is a crazy place. Louis Theroux has a beautiful documentary. If you've never heard me yap about it before, but it's a documentary about him. It's one. It's it's on YouTube. Him going on this African hunting expedition with all these Americans. It's really strange. Really strange. Jungle Street Wars. But the same. What's that? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what it sounds like. Oh. Freaking jungle street wars with the animals. But if you really think about it, you know, people get mad here because they don't live like that. They haven't seen, well, until like Orlando, you haven't seen a wild animal snatch a family member, a friend, yeah. a child. So they're accustomed to like, whatever, that thing, that thing tears me to pieces. I still, I remember my mom getting eaten by that thing. So yeah, no, I have no problem selling him off taking that thing out yeah there was a recent uh, there's this guy named jim shockey and he's got this great show called uncharted he's just sort of an adventurer he travels all over the world <clears throat> and they hired him to go to mozambique because all these people were getting killed by crocodiles so he's going he goes to mozambique to hunt crocodiles and while they were there someone in the camp got killed and eaten by a crocodile some woman was washing clothes and got dragged into the water oh. and, you know you talk to them and like those they, those people don't they don't have any problem with someone coming over and shooting a crocodile. <laughs> no, because they, so, they, <coughs> they see it. Yeah, there'll be no protests. Right. We don't make movies about this. There was an article in the New York Times after the Cecil thing by someone from Zimbabwe that said, in Zimbabwe, we do not cr cry for lions. And it talked about how all the family members that had been terrorized, all the people they knew that had been actually killed by lions. Like, this is not a joke. Like, you guys have this fucking Lion's King version of what's going on over here. Right. But even there, still, I don't want anybody to shoot a lion. It just seems well, it's just weird. like anything. Then they'll say, well, why don't they move? Well, you don't know the conditions they are. Yeah. You don't know how far they have to go. If they got to go across the desert or where. Yeah. What, you, you can't say anything to you live in that, to you live that way of life. That drives me nuts. Yeah. People just, well, you know what's going on over there. No, I really don't. It's so there. far away and it's so different than anything we can ever even possibly imagine happening in North America. Dude, I'm just worried about my teenagers getting pregnant. <laughs>